Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to another video. This time is of the Soap Studios 112, Newt Scaramander from Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grimwald. And let's get started. Shout out to Soap Studios for sending this over, letting me, as usual, take a early look at something. So I do appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. And what's really cool about this is that throughout all the progress of this, we've actually, I don't know if you guys can see it, but I definitely see it, is that now we're finally getting uh, some real changes, working in motion on their new figures. And it's really cool to see it come to life. With this guy, the tailoring is a lot different. The body has more articulation. Everything seems more sturdy and more fit. And it's fantastic to see it come a long way. It's really cool to see stuff like this. A lot of times we don't see uh, a lot of progression and stuff this quickly. But things get churned out so fast, we actually could see it in real time. So it's dope to see. And let's get started. Anyway, it's a really nice figure. Uh, I think the head sculpts have gone from... A really nice sculpt, but just being a soft paint to a solid, like I could really see it being really good now. And as you can see with Newt here, oop, zoom in, looks really, really good. Uh, he definitely has that feel of, um, how do I even go about it? It's, the, it's a realistic more feel. I feel like the better paint apps being applied, it doesn't look soft, it's really nice. And now as far as articulation goes, which is my favorite part, uh, we have our standard soap articulation which is 35, well, usually 30 to 35 points, and our arms can come all the way up. We get a nice peg for what's, whatever's going on there. <laughs> I don't know what I was doing there. So we have a nice peg that rotates 360 degrees. We have bicep swivel, which is very nice. As you can see, it turns a little outward here, so you gotta be a little careful there. <clears throat> and it's double jointed. Now, the only thing with that, as you can see, the sleeve rolls up, so that might be one of your few complaints along with this so far. But uh, I don't mind it, but I know some people will. Uh, there are short sleeves on for the vest and the shirt combination, and that's to better out your articulation, and I'll show you those in a few photos at the end. As far as waist goes and head, now one of my favorite things about this is that now we have gotten started on our standard new head joint alignment. It is no longer one piece, and you can actually get a better range of motion, especially for Newt, who uh, kind of has that Clark Kent feel of him when it comes to being slouchy, being hunched over, no eye contact. It definitely seems like uh, they're trying to brave the character and his, uh, I guess, his anxiety, I would say. But I really enjoy it. And I like the fact that we are now getting that with these figures. Definitely is a very nice change of pace, especially if you want to give more expression to the character. As far as our waist goes, we can remove the vest out a little bit. And as you can see here, we get a little bit of ab crunch. And then we can actually go a little bit backwards, but nothing too crazy. We don't get any crazy articulation there in the ab section. Just a nice little forward and backwards to give a little nod to it. As far as our legs go, our legs can go forward. They are indeed, ooh, they are indeed double jointed. As you can see here, and you'll see that he actually has a boot, like it's a high top boot, and it rotates left and right, a little bit forward and back. There are no toe pivots, and that's to help the guy stand up a lot better with his soft goods, because I bet that jacket would probably weigh him down. And overall, I'm really liking the improvements here. It's more finely tailored. It looks very good. It has way more expression and articulation. And it is overall something I really have liked. <clears throat> it's something that I've asked for, actually. And it's good to be heard and see it. So I like things like this. As you can see here, I'm turning it down. It looks a little bit over to the side. Voila. Now, I said before I would show you the jacket. I, I said I would show you in the photos, but I'm actually going to show it here. So let's take that peg off. And as we roll down the jacket, let's see if we can get that arm out. There we go. As you can see, it's a short sleeve there. And as you can see, this is a proto. But what's crazy is, I didn't even realize it, they didn't tailor it in the back. So this might be because if it's a proto, I'm not sure if it's finalized. But they give you the front part of the jacket, but not the back side. So that's actually pretty crazy. I didn't think about that. But they give you the upper portion too, kind of show you that look. It could be one of those things where they use it to uh, cut costs or that it's not meant to take the jacket off. I don't know, I'm unsure. So I can't sit here and say for sure I know. But that was something new to find out. I actually found it on the screen with you guys. So it's pretty cool or crazy depending on how you look about it. But it all depends on what they were aiming for and I'm unsure at this time. So let's plug this hand back in. Voila, there we go. So now that we've covered all of that, one thing I'm gonna do now is cover the accessories. Newt, 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 newt. I don't know why I turned that into a song. But, <laughs> so we have one hand for holding his suitcase. This is a singular left hand for holding the suitcase. We have two relaxed palms. 
we have two more hands for holding items, as you can see here. We have a standard hand strictly for the right hand of the uh, wands. And then we have another hand particularly for wands and other items in general. For wands, we have two versions, which is this one, which turns into like a flower, like horn. And then we have the standard wand. You know, you don't want your joint to get uh, beat up, shown. Then we have a few Fantastic Beasts from the movie, the ones that we all know. We have our uh, money-grubbing animal here, <laughs> which is pretty nice. I don't know why I keep forgetting the names whenever I'm on camera. And we have one of our true heroes so far, who has saved them in numerous iterations already in the last two movies. This is pretty cool. And then we have the suitcase. The suitcase actually opens up, and as you can see here, it has items that you've seen in the movie. And a placent, so you can store things in there as well too. And then it also can close up. Let me just get that fixed on there. Because I didn't lift. I might need my tweezers. There we go. And it latches on, closes up. You can carry it around. Now, that was pretty cool. It comes with a lot of stuff. But again, I am unsure of the price. I need to check that. Maybe I'll put it in the description. So actually, let just fix them all up. And although it seems like it's a little wired, I'm not sure if it's wired or not because I don't feel a wire there, but it definitely does hold a pole. So that's actually pretty cool too. New tech, new tech. Overall, I'm feeling the new, only I think it's really because I like the movies a lot, but that could just be me. I really like the direction that Soap is going into and I really hope they continue moving forward and listening to feedback. It's actually been really nice to see these things. One more thing I do want to talk about because I left it out real fast is that uh, I left out the stand, which is actually pretty nice. But again, if this is not your flavor, if you don't want to use this for parts, if this that has no interest into you, it's totally fine to pass on it. Uh, I actually really did enjoy the movie and my wife actually loved to receive this toy. So she's had a great time playing and displaying with it. Uh, I haven't had time to actually get around to it. So I'm hoping you guys will enjoy the photos. But the next thing up is that we're going to jump into size comparisons so that we can see what's going down with Newt and to see how he sizes up with other lines as well as some other soap stuff. So... Real quick though, I do want to size them up to another soap figure, which I'm going to use Harvey Dent because it's technically another suit body. And I'm going to show you how crazy difference is in terms of tailoring and look. And these are two figures from the same line. And Dent is a bit taller, but as you can see, like, it's a bigger and baggier suit. It doesn't look uh, fine wine and fine tuned. Whereas here with Newt, we definitely have a better tailored look and feel to him. And not like this is bad, but this is much better. So it's just, it's growing pains through a company. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I really am. Anyway, <clears throat> let's jump into the next comparison, which is going to be next to a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. And as you can see, Newt is actually at a pretty good height. Let's back this on up like a U-Haul truck so we can get some more guys into the frame. Then we actually have an Articulated Icons Ninja. It's not like magicians have never fought wizards. Dr. Strange does it literally on the weekly basis. Here he is next to an SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Cougar. Voila. And as you can see, Newt here is probably the basic six inch size. He's very close in scale to normal size Spider-Man leveled Marvel Legends, which is pretty nice. That means you can use him as a civilian in your stuff if you really wanted to. Next up, we have a 1000 toy synthetic human. We have a Hasbro Lightning Collection Power Ranger. We have a Mezco Me on a Gomez body. And as you can see, I am a tad bit taller on the Gomez body, but they actually seem to scale pretty well. Nothing too crazy. Let's take all these guys away. Next up, we're gonna do uh, a couple things. We're gonna do a Mythic Legions. This is a Vorgus, a knight level. So it's a little bit bigger than the stuff that you're used to, as you can see here. And then as far as the Storm Collectibles go, here is King of Fighters Terry. And you see he's gigantic next to all of them. So it's different for everybody, right? Glad to see this getting made. I'm looking forward to Albus Dumbledore. And I hope we get a few others like the Johnny Depp character as well. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Overall, pretty nice. But I feel like for some people it's easily going to be passable. And that's totally fine too. But if you enjoy little things like this because we kind of don't get it over here domestic side, this would be a nice addition for you. Otherwise, you can use the accessories and do whatever you want with it. It's really up to you. Hope you guys enjoy it. 
Hope you guys have found it informative. And as always, guys, be good, do good, drink your water. Later.